so hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm really excited because we are trying some products that i found at my local walgreens they are from the brand um wet and wild um so i have a couple things um to try on with you guys as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe grab a snack get cozy and let's jump right into the video So, like I said, today we have a few new products that we're going to... It's only three products that we're going to try out. Um, so, I was walking around my Walgreens and I came across the Wet n Wild Niacinamide Skin Tint. This is what she looks like. Um, I feel like skin tints and serums are like everywhere these days. So, I picked this one up. Mine was literally... I can't remember the exact, the exact price, but I picked it up for like under $10. I want to say like 7 seven dollars um my walgreens had only like maybe eight shades but when i go into the when a wild um website they have here a total of 27 shades and this retails for 8.99 in their website um and i'm just gonna read a little bit um on this little skin tint this luxurious sheer to medium buildable skin tint with five 5% niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and peony extract delivers smoothing natural perfection. Blurs in perfection, finishes with a soft satin glow, and perfects while concealing redness and blemishes so naturally. It will look almost undetectable. A clean skin loving serum foundation. So, um, from the looks of it, it's like really good for your skin. Okay, so the shade that I picked up in this is... Um, so apparently I picked mine up in the shade Cream Beige. And like all the other ones, it comes with a little dropper. So we are going to go ahead and try this bad boy out. Like I said, it's only two other products. So we are going to be testing out a powder from them. This is the Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer Finish Powder. So it's supposed to be a primer as well. Okay, and then I also did come across these little um, liquid blushes. They kind of remind me of the e.l.f. ones, but we're going to get into the skin tint, and then I'll give you details on the other products. So like I said, we are going to prime. For primer, I am going to go into my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I have been loving this, as you guys can tell. Oh, I'm actually running low. I'm going to take some, and we are going to prime our face. Oh. This is a really um, good drugstore primer if you guys are looking for like a good, um, just like a good drugstore primer. It, it will literally make your makeup grip to your face. And then it's going to start to get tacky. Now for my foundation, I have been loving brushes. I have not been using um, any uh, beauty blenders or sponges and right now i've been loving this um brush from zoeva it is it is their 104 buffer brush i've been loving this thing now i'm gonna go into this i'm actually scared of droppers because i feel like i'm gonna make a mess so i'm not picking up anything okay i'm just gonna rub it on it's not picking anything up but okay we are gonna i'm gonna do about that much and like i said i'm gonna take my brush and i think it's a good shade so looks pretty what are we thinking of this so so far I mean this is no tint. This is with the tint. 
looks really pretty i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now it's not really picking up when i press it so hopefully it does there we go but i like doing this with my with these little droppers i like doing like just rubbing it on my face um but yeah that blended out and it, it has really good coverage by the way because this is only one layer and it looks really good so you guys see that that covered up pretty well it has really good coverage usually when i think of a skin tint i feel like really really light coverage which i don't mind but i know not everybody likes that this looks super pretty Okay, I'm going to finish blending this out. Now, it, I feel like I definitely look glowy. I'm not sure it's because of the primer. Because um, it gives you that little, like, extra, I feel like, glow. So, it looks really good. I really like this. I am going to go ahead and try concealer on camera just so we can try that powder. I've been actually loving my Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. So we're going to add just a little bit. And for my concealer, I've been loving this one from Real Techniques. It has a little like, um, <coughs> a little like paw thing. So I'm going to blend this out quickly. Okay, I just added a little bit of concealer. Now, we're going to move into the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Lip and Cheek Color. These are basically supposed to be for both your lips and the cheeks. But they, I got the shade Rosy Romance. And they only have two other shades. They have a peachy one and then like a, like a plummy one. This was for like, this was probably a Walgreens $4.99. So, we're going to go ahead and it's kind of moussey. I don't know how much to do, so we're going to do just that amount. Morphe R46 brush. And, okay, we're going to go ahead and blend this out. What do we think? Okay, it's cute. It's not too pigmented, which is not always a bad thing. So this is pretty. I like this. I'm going to go in on this side and we're going to take some on the nose so it's blending out super quick which i like and the color is pretty i actually like this color now i'm going to add a little more just to see how this kind of like builds up so we're going to do that much. I really like this that it's not super pigmented. Because listen, the Juvia's Place um, liquid blushes, they're super beautiful. But it can get messy really quick. And this, if you're a beginner with um, cream blushes, I feel like you can kind of move it around, work with it. And just, you know, mess up a little bit and then go back and fix it if you have to. Because this is, first of all, blending out super quickly. I love this shade. And you can definitely build it up. Now, just to fix that a little bit, I'm going to go back with a little more concealer. And then, I love concealer. And we're going to blend this again. And that just kind of makes both products melt into each other. My skin looks hydrated. Now um, we're gonna go into the powder again. This is a um, this is the powder. Um, it's in. So there's no color to this. This is the five in one essence primer and finishing powder. And again, it's supposed to smooth lines, conditions, um, refines pores, balances, and it's for pre and post makeup. 
So we are going to use this. It's just a white powder. I'm going to take a little powder puff to apply this. So we have our powder puff. Now, ooh. Okay, when you pick it up, that's a lot. I'm going to take some in the back. And hopefully I don't mess this whole thing up. Okay. So it's actually very smoothing. Um, maybe just go in with a light touch. Wow, that looks very smoothing and pretty. I was not expecting that from this powder. I'm telling you guys, the drugstore. Wow, that looks super pretty, guys. Look at that. Super smoothing and like just flawless. Um, Hopefully, this doesn't give flashback, which we're going to test it out. But, oh my god, this is very pretty. I am loving this powder. Wow, this instantly, okay, my eyelids are super wrinkly. This is like smoothing everything out. Okay, wet and wild. We're going to do this side. I think I just found my new favorite powder. Okay, this is looking, I'm going to zoom you guys in. This is looking super pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera, finish off my makeup, and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about what we like, what we didn't like, and what we think overall. So I will be right back. So I am back. I just added a little bit of bronzer and some mascara just to finish off the look. Now again, um, we only used three products, but oh my God, I am very impressed. I love this. This is something that I think I'm going to use every day, this little skin tint. My face feels hydrated. It, it feels um, it feels really hydrated. It feels really nice. Um, the powder, amazing. It like really blurred out my under eyes. This also, definitely, if you're at Walgreens, check this out. This thing is really good. The blush is really cute too. It's nice. I didn't try it on the lips just because it's not like my lipstick vibe or the face it's okay i mean if you're looking for something that isn't too pigmented this would be good for you if you're looking for a product that works for more than two things this is yours um like the the blush is there it's not too pigmented it's not too overpowering so i, I don't mind it i like that i think this was cute i think if you guys pick up anything from this the powder the powder is it the powder is really good i was very impressed by this so yes, guys, that is my video. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.